Wow, this little battery powered video light, which I'm using right now, is as powerful as this. the smallest, most portable, but brightest video light in the world. You know, I like to go out on location and hike and stuff and take things with me, so I gotta be really small and light. Now, the hardest thing to take with you is video lights, usually because of the batteries. That's the heaviest part. Now, I've done several videos already about battery-powered video lights. I'll put a link to them down below. And the ones that seem to be the brightest and the best always seem to be like stuff like this, the big, chunky ones. The one that is standard that I set everything by, the reference point, is the Aperture 120D Mark II. Not the Mark I, the Mark II, because it's bright brighter than the original one with a Fresnel lens. A Fresnel lens intensifies and almost doubles the amount of light. When I'm on location and I'm doing a video of myself talking in bright sunlight, that's something I always do, I always shoot in bright sunlight. Anybody can do a video indoors when it's dark, but when you're out in the sun, and you're fighting with the sun, and you need the power of the sun on your face to match the background, this is the, this is the least powered light you can have to kind of get close to the power system. Here's a video I did of me with the 120D Mark II with the Fresnel lens on my face. And it lights up really good. This is just one light. So this for me is what I, I'm gonna reference to as compared to all the other ones. Without the Fresnel, this light is not strong enough to compete with the sun. But with the Fresnel it is. And it's a Bones mount, so that will fit on some of these other ones too. Anyway, so that's, now this thing is big and heavy and clunky. Imagine putting this in my suitcase, which I did a couple times, and I hope I never have to do that again. It's the light, the Fresnel, you got this heavy, giant, chunky box, and a V-mount battery. That is just so old school and ridiculous. There are a whole bunch of knockoffs of this coming out now, like here's the small rig 120D, $220. It's Bowen's mount, just like that, so you'd have to put a Fresnel on there. This is the old standard, the Godox SLB60. It's almost the exact same dimensions as a AD600 flash. Costs $180, the only thing is it has a fan noise. Now, before I show you the smallest, brightest, battery-powered video light, let me show you some other ones that just came out that are less expensive, that you might actually like more, that are just as brighter, brighter than the SLB60, but a lot lighter, a lot smaller, and quieter, too. All the new ones, they basically have no fan noise. They have a fan, but you can barely hear it. <clears throat> Let's starting with this one here. This is an Amaran 60D. This one is by the same company that makes the Aperture 120D Mark II, but look at how far they've come. This is how small this thing is. It's almost as bright as this. If this has a light meter reading of 16, this one is 11. So it's one stop darker. And I'm talking about with a Fresnel here, okay? So with a Fresnel, this is 16. Without a Fresnel, the 120D Mark II is pretty much the same as this. But I'm trying to get the light level of uh, the Fresnel. This is actually a Bones mount, believe it or not. It's genius. These little pegs are longer, so they, they fit into the same thing that one of these big ones do. So you can put a full-size Bone mount thing on here but this little one actually concentrates the light more than the big one. So this is great. It takes up less space and it concentrates. You get about another half a stop of light from this than from the big one. So that's pretty cool. You can put Bowen's Mount stuff on here. But the thing I don't like about it, it's kind of small, it's great. It doesn't have the box hanging from it and everything. I, I, it takes NP batteries, which is great, but I don't like this clunky thing that they have. It looks like it would take V-mount batteries, but it doesn't. So you have to stick this thing on here, which is kind of Mickey Mouse. It's kind of clunky. I don't like how it just adds to the, the size and the bulkiness and the complexity of it. That's why I like, now this one here is 170, but this one here takes that and takes it, they kind of copied it, but they did it right. They put the MP batteries right on the side here. This is the GVM. Uh, which stands for Great Video Maker. <laughs> Chinese have funny names for things. But the NP battery goes, is, is holder is built right into the box, which I really like. Now this is bigger than this, and it is Bowen's mount. So you can, now, now the way it comes, this is really important here, the, the reflector that it comes with, it's all pebbled and everything. So if this is 16, this is 11, and this is 5.6 with this. Now if you take this reflector, the one with the prisms, which is a much newer model of reflector, this adds a stop of light. So now you have this. Now we went from 5.6 to 8. Now if we take a Fresnel, on here, now we're up to 11. 
So now we've got the same light level as this, and almost the same light level as the 120D Mark II. But look how big and heavy and clunky this thing is now. I don't like that. Uh, it's cheap, but it's big and clunky. So let's move on. This is the one I've been using for the last three years. This was the brightest, smallest, battery-powered video light that you can get. Uh, this is the battery part right here. It's all built in. It's one unit. It's a CLX by Light and Motion. It's really heavy. This is the Fresnel that goes on the front and uh, add that on there. And it's 10,000 lumens, really, really bright. Here's a video of me using two Stellas. This is two Stellas on a balcony in Sedona. And I have them really close to my face. And here I am using a couple of them in Bora Bora. You need at least two of them to be bright enough. This one is $1,300. So, so the price and the weight make this something that, I, I, that needs to be beat. Now this is one of my favorite ones here. I love this one. This is a well-making, <laughs> the Chinese have funny names for stuff. HL800C Studio Light. This puts out a decent amount of light. Here I am in Death Valley taking some pictures with this thing. I'm just holding it in my hand. It weighs nothing. It uses a 14.8 volt proprietary battery, which go right here on the side. It's all contained in one unit. So that's kind of cool. And you can turn this ring to move the lens in and out to make the beam wider or narrower. And to make it even smaller and lighter, I unscrewed the Bowens mount, which I don't need. This is metal. It weighs quite a bit so now this thing is really small and lightweight and the newer one with the yellow stripe is much quieter in fact it's silent most of the time it makes no sound at all I love these little lights they're very portable friendly and easy to use and they're only like 200 bucks the well making HL 800 C okay what about flashlights Amazon is filled with flashlights claiming to be a hundred thousand lumens they're not they are nowhere near a hundred thousand these lights are about six thousand lumens at the most I always get a little distracted with what's the most powerful flashlight that you can get here it is here's the most powerful flashlight that you can get on Amazon this is seven hundred dollars it comes in its own case it's a Immolent MS 18 it says a hundred thousand lumens <laughs> it's not but anyway so look at this this is this is a beast this is the most powerful flashlight in the world I, I gotta say this it is bright 700 2,000 5,000 10,000 22,000 30,000 it weighs a lot. I don't know. It's really, it's like a brick. It's like a solid metal chunk. Okay. Now it's at 100,000 lumens, apparently. It says 100,000. It's not 100,000. Anyway, listen to that fan. This fan is ridiculous. And after seven seconds, it goes down. It, it starts, you start getting the overheat symbol. And then it goes down to 30,000. <laughs> so, and it starts to smell really bad. Like something's burning in there. This thing, this is unreliable as a video light. $700 for something I can't use. Flashlights in general are not really that great for video lighting. Then we get into a panel light. The thing about the panel light versus these things is this does not focus light. This makes light go in all directions. Whereas what you want for doing vlogs and stuff is to have something that has a, the focus is a beam of light. All these things focus a beam of light. This doesn't, this shoots light in all directions. So you're gonna lose a bunch of light here. If you're gonna use panels, you should use like at least two or three. And then we get down to this one here, the non-light Forza 60. It's still decent. It's not a Bones mount and has its own. Well, look at how small this thing is. This is small. Now, this looks small and portable, but then you got this power pack and then you got to put a battery in here. It's just kind of clumsy and clunky and it just got too much junk attached to it. So, what is the smallest, most portable video light that you can get? Well, it's by the same company that makes a Stella here and it costs less too. Remember, this is the original Stella here. The CLX, 10,000 lumens. With this, it's really heavy, it's really long. It's got the, this thing on here, it's kind of clunky. So here's the new thing that they came out with. Are you ready? Here it is. It's called a Stella Reflex. This is how small this thing is. This is the same, same bright, well, this is 9,000 lumens. It doesn't require this uh, Fresnel. It has, this this is it has different lenses that it comes with it comes with these standard wide uh you know throw and then i got a spot throw so i put the spot on here so it concentrates the beam more now check this out this which you can put an umbrella in and it swivels and it's a nice heavy duty a bracket this actually comes off get this it has a little screw on top here which is quarter 20 so I took all this off. Now, look how small this thing is. Now, there's no battery in here. This is just the actual light. But I took off the, uh, the, the bracket on the bottom. 
Now here's the quarter 20 thread. I'm gonna get the smallest little tiny uh, swivel mount that I can get, which is this one. I even though this came with something. I don't know what it came with. I have several of these. Ta-da! Now they have a battery handle, but that only takes it up to about 6,000 lumens. To get it up to 9,000 lumens, you need to get a 100 watt USB battery. And for that, they give you a cable, a USB-C is a USB-3 cable, which you plug in here, you get it whatever length you want, and then you get one of these. This is what I got. I, I like this form factor because it's flat and it fits in your pocket. <laughs> so you can actually have the light in your pocket. It comes with a nine foot cable and you plug it in here and it's ready to go. It is super, super bright. And so this is actually brighter than any of these lights here. And you have your, if the battery runs out, you just plug in another USB battery to it. And again, these things are, I like these kind of batteries because they're flat. So you can hang them on the light stand or put them in your pocket or do whatever you want. But look how tiny this thing is. And it weighs nothing and it's small and it's powerful. Now I know you're wondering about fan noise and that last shot it was right next to my head. Right now it's about five feet back which is about the distance that it would be if I was shooting a video. Now yes it has fan noise but so does the CLX which is the video light that I've been using for the last three years. And you didn't hear it in my videos because vi check this out there it's gone fan noise is gone fan noise is really easy to filter out because it's a steady sound it's not i used to freak me out i go oh no the video oh, it's going people are going to hear it. it's going to ruin the video it's so easy to get rid of fan noise there's cars on the road there's airplanes overhead you know you have to tune out the modern world anyway so you use some software for that like Right there, it's all gone. I mean, that's not a big deal. I don't worry about this. It is audible to your ear and it does. it is kind of worrisome, but because I know I can get rid of it, it's really not worried a big deal to me. Look how bright this thing is, wow. These things are so lightweight. We hiked a mile out here in the nature. Our shoulders aren't sore, no heavy batteries, no heavy equipment. They weigh nothing. They, I mean, it's like, you almost feel like something's missing because they're so light. These things are great. I'm actually in the shade. This is what it looks like with the lights turned off. And this is what it looks like when I'm using in Little Oz Osmo action, action cam. $650. This is the studio version. Um, and they have th two other versions which are more expensive. And they're more expensive because this thing also doubles as a flash. It's an LED flash. I personally, I think LED flashes are a joke. All it does is make the light brighter for a second, uh, twice as bright. But it's nothing compared to like an actual flash, like a AD200 or something like that. So I don't, I would not suggest using these as a camera flash, but for a video light, this thing is awesome. From what I found with my light meter, it's brighter than this. So this is the smallest, most portable. Here, check, I'll take the lens off. Look at this. This is this is the thing right here. This is the smallest, most portable, brightest light that you can get for video. This is it right here. Look how small this thing is. All right, so I've got sunlight on this side of my face and shade on this side of my face. So let's get some stellar reflex action on the shady side. All right, so here we have sunlight on this side and stellar reflex light on this side. Ho, 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 ho! All right, I'm in total shade now. The sun's behind me, so let's put some light on my face. Whoa, that is bright. All right, I got a stellar reflex on this side and a stellar reflex on this side. How cool is that? Look, it's so bright, I can't even open my eyes. Wow. It has a lightweight softbox speed ring adapter that you can stick up to eight rods into. It's so small, you can use it as a video light on your camcorder for news gathering, or on a cage or side handle with your mirrorless camera, or even two lights twice as bright hit someone's face from two sides. It's just amazing. I wonder where technology is gonna take us in a few years. And this is, this is what I want, small, lightweight, and powerful. And don't say the Loom Cube is small and bright. It doesn't even register compared to these other lights. All right, here I've laid them out so you can see the size difference between them. This is the old 120D Mark II and the SW60, the old school ones that are big and clunky. Here's the newer ones, and you can see the size differences between them. The biggest of the ones is the GVM. It is $160. It's got the built-in batteries. This, uh, and then there's the, uh, the Amaran. Uh, this is $170. This is... Uh, one stop brighter than this. And then we have the $1,300 CLX and the well making, which is $200. And then we have the Stella uh, Reflex. 
like that was six or seven hundred dollars. Uh, now this is, as far as fan noise goes, this is the loudest one. This might be a deal breaker for some of you. This is why I wanted to show you these other options because uh, for me it's not a problem taking, getting rid of the fan noise. It's easy. But for some of you it's a deal breaker. You just don't want to deal with it. So that's why some people don't like the SLB60 because of the fan noise. So that is an issue with this for some people. The, the GVM, the uh, Amaran, and the Wellmaking, they have a fan but you can't even hear it. It's really, really quiet. So these three are really, really quiet. But remember, the, the camera, the, the, the light that I've been using all these years was this one here. And it has a pretty substantial fan noise. And you never heard it because I got rid of it. So for me, it's not a deal. Anyway, here's the size differences. And these newer ones are all like 200 bucks or slightly under it. So that's still affordable. If the reflex is still too expensive for you, I suggest getting the well making. It's not as bright, but you can get three of them for the price of one reflex. It's 200 bucks plus 50 bucks for the battery, which fits right onto this unit. Look how portable and small this is. I glued the lens right on the front. This is all I need. Really, really nice. And this is quieter, much quieter than the reflex, which has a louder fan noise. This is really, really quiet. So here's my two choices. If you can afford the reflex and don't mind the fan noise, I say get that. Otherwise, get the well making. Look at how, I love this little thing. This is great. Anyway, so that's my two choices. And the MRN 60D would be my third choice. It's just as bright as the 120D Mark II, but it's a lot smaller and it's quiet. But wait, I went one step further. I took this thing off. Now we got it down to this. Look how small this thing is. It's still obviously a light, a battery. It's just fully self-contained. So this is the, a nice, small, self-contained unit. And if you stick the lens and the reflex on there, you get another half a stop of light. It's still two stops less than the reflex of the 120D Mark II, but it's still a very nice, nice bright light that's very small and portable. I love it. I love tinkering and seeing how small I can get things and lightweight. I love this little guy. I love playing with it. But for smallest and brightest, nothing comes close to the reflex. I mean, if you want bright light and small and portable, this is the one to get. So that's my video light thing for today. I'm always looking for the smallest, most portable lightweight things. If you're in a studio, it doesn't matter. Get the big, heavy, clunky things that impress people because bigger is impressive but I like small lightweight things. There you go. Well, I hope uh, you got something out of this. That's what I'm about, is to show you the latest greatest. This has been out for a while. It's been out for like a year or so, but uh, they're, they're touting it as a flash. And it's, it's not that great as a flash. It's great as a video light. So there you go. The Stella Reflex, $650, not bad, considering the CLX was $1,300. This is amazing. I have three of these and it's great. And remember, you can take off the handle that it comes with. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye. Um, for those of you who are still around, and there's probably not many of you who are still sticking around, the, the payoff for you sticking around is uh, I'm gonna give away two of these Forza 60s and they come in a nice carry case and everything. I'm gonna give two of these away, and I'm also gonna give away this flashlight. I'm gonna give away the XH Pro P70.2. Go to marcuspix.giveawayenter.com, and I'll pick the winner in a few days, and uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. All right, see you then, bye.